minuscule game. Let's check out the settings. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Looks kind of scuffed. Disabled by default. Bloom. I don't even know what the shit does. I forget. I forget. Forgetty spaghetti. Alright. New game. Press any key. I pressed mouse button one. Miranda Govin as Rose Witherby. What the fuck? Spacebar. Pants are off already. Witching hour has five endings. Which one you get will depend on your interactions throughout the story. Oh, choices matters. Copson, Kappa, Kyrgyz. Here it is, the Weatherby oh, House, shit. our new home. Voice acting. It looks about the same as I remember when I grew up here. Okay, that's very specific. Uh, it's so creepy. I don't normally say this, but I think Emma's right. Looks a little run down, Dad. Jerk. The tenant that I rented it to after your grandparents passed away left without giving any notice, so it's been without maintenance for a number of years. But it's nothing we can't fix with a bit of effort, girls. Why did we leave the city? Can we still go back? No more talk of the city. I told you this, Emma. This is our home now. We'll make it work. Come on, let's start unpacking the truck. Oh, it looks like this in the game. I thought it was like cinematic. All right. Looks like a telltale game or something. Emma, help me sort through these boxes, will you? Rose, the old tenant left without even the courtesy of a phone call, so I doubt we'll find the keys laying around. Can you find a way to open this place up? I mean, that crowbar game. It gets me out of moving boxes, sure. This house has been dormant for a while. You'll need to get the electrical lines back on. Keep an eye out for a mechanical box once you're inside. I feel like a tradesman. Well, get used to manual labor, Rose. We're a farming family now. Farming emotes. Hello, Kappa Jabeda. How come she doesn't have this shit? It would have been very convenient indeed. Alright, let's go around the back. What do we have here? I guess it's not technically a break and enter if it's your grandparents' place, right? It technically is though. Unless you're invited through that window. 
Hey, now it's in safety for four years, man. Pew. The weathery house. Oh, it's so dusty in here. All right, let's get the lights back Fuck, on. Fuck, I hate these doors. Somehow. I'm already dead. Because I can't open doors. The last right. tenant had a bit of a drinking problem. Yeah. We all need to drink daily. Could be a utility closet. Could be the basement. Hang on a second. I know this house. Uh, remember the game with the pig masks? It was like a horror game with the pig masks. Well, that's a creepy door. Some of you might. I think it's that house. Here was a bedroom. Narnia. Fuck, everything is opened by this little fucking mechanic. Oh. Interact with puzzle with left click. Oh, my specialty. Puzzles. No? What the fuck? I think I was supposed to flip it. What the fuck is going on? Can I flip these or what? I think I'm supposed to flip it. How is this not fitting? What the fuck? Aha. What the fuck? What? I have to do this first? I'm putting it on the fucking X. It's fucking scuffed. How the fuck am I supposed to... Yes, aim, bro. Look at this. Tell me it's not scuffed. The fuck. All right. I didn't need that last part, really. Am I not supposed to read the fucking note? Maybe it's in Latin or something. <laughs> what? I just got it, I can't read it. The fuck? Alright. This ripped up note doesn't look like it's written in English. Corporea Dormientes exida, frigida et rigida, reduc animas inquietus nocte ambulantes. <sighs> I'm not the superstitious type, but that wasn't comfortable to read. Better get back to turning the lights on. Latin pros in the chat. What's this? Looks really ornate. Well, 
Outside of chores and probably bad TV reception. There's not much else to do. I'll read it later. All right. We got our cool looking book. Grimoire of Lucilia M. I shouldn't be worried about these like fireflies in here or There's a lot of them. Hello? Here's a key. Ugandan key. Ah! Jesus! What the hell was that? I don't know. I should get the lights on first. Yeah, maybe if you open the doors, you will have more lights. You know, it's just like turning that shit. Uh huh. I was expecting a basement. I am pleasantly surprised. All right. Let there be light. Let there be light. That's what I always say. Man, great minds think alike, huh? We're like one, you and I. We are like the earth and sky. Let's make this room feel a little bit more like home. Grimoire of Lucilia. Unpack it. Alright. Looking good, looking good. <sighs> That's much better. Let's check on Emma. Lace's sister. Hello, motherfucker. What's up? Only unpacked your art supplies, I see. Surprise, surprise. I'm tired. I'll do it tomorrow. Well, my room is already fully unpacked. Damn, she's fucking annoying. <laughs> the main character. That's because you were unlocking the house while I was unpacking the truck with Dad, loser. Hey, I'm not a loser. You get wrecked. Alright, she's definitely not getting possessed. Later on. Congratulations, Rose. You just lost an argument with your eight-year-old sister. Maybe a bath will wash away some of the shame. Let's take a bath. All right, is this the bathroom? Because no one is... Yeah, they're probably in there. Here? Aha, classic. And a bath time. Uh, probably gonna go like this. I lied. <laughs> Don't do that! Favorite one here, easy for ants. It says pooper pooper bell, pooper pooper bell. Talk to father. Oh, gross. I should tell dad. Oh, I remember this. It's too late to go out. What? 
It's seven. The water from the pipes is black. You're probably the first one to turn them on in years. Until I can clear them out, we'll have to use the water from the well outside. Anything else on your mind, Rose? Why did we move out here? I already told you. A city is no place for two young girls. You've been getting thinner. How are you going to see a doctor all the way out here? I'll be fine. My only concern is starting a new crop and fixing this place up. It'll be a fine place for all of us. We'll have everything we need for a good life. Uh, have you checked on your sister? She decided to spend the night drawing instead of unpacking. She's stubborn like your mother used to be. I think you'd take more after me. Be patient with her. Moving here must be hard for her as well. Now get some rest. We have a long day in the morning. What's with the strange door? The one with all the chains on it? Yeah, I noticed that too. It's hard to miss. Must have been done by the tenant who moved in after my parents passed. Not sure why, though. I'll get it open with some tools, after we get all the essentials fixed first. Hmm, that's totally not essential. Okay. Good night, Dad. Could be another person in there for all you know. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. Let's read a chapter of that new book before bed. Yes. Let's... It's no Harry Potter, but it'll, it'll do. drawn to the idea of forces beyond what we can see, touch, or even fathom. A type of power that is only shown to people who have faith in it. The same power that has given life to all things. With the creation of our universe, the stars, the existence itself, I don't find it hard to believe in the possibility of the divine. I had to listen to sermon after sermon in the parish about such things before leaving the church. Holy men, miracles, and the people that follow them. Such things anyone would desire for themselves. I spent many afternoons at the Historical Society reading their short supply of books on the arcane and esoteric, trying to find the keys of these miracles so I can practice them myself. In my research through these old books, I came across one, the Clavicule of Solomon, which spoke of ceremonial magic for incantations, rituals and sigils used to call upon and control Spirits. Rah. After reading through this grimoire, I knew of a spirit I wished to contact my son Andrew, who had died the year before. Losing him was losing my final connection to this world, and even an illusion of hope is still far better than no hope at all. So I started with candles. I would wait until dark when our world and spirit is at its thinnest and walk through the woods next to my home. I would write Andrew's name with candlelight, inviting him to speak to me from the darkness. I would ask him to tell me the secrets of death and the existence of the beyond it. It was an experience that made me feel at peace with my loss and feel a sense of power in an otherwise powerless life. I continued this process for over a year, reading new incantations, continuing my pilgrimage in the woods, then one faithful fateful night after writing his name in the darkness and pleading with him to speak with me Andrew finally spoke back shut the fuck a graphic thing for tier 3 31 months a force and love the lost sub only meetup it was nice to see Nina as well now and now to the thing that matters cringe fist me bros of Stalin hey don't don't uh, snitch keeping on the down down you know I'll have to Otherwise, get everyone would go tear through the cell. Stupid pipes. Would work. Oh. 
outside well. Oh well. Couldn't sleep anyway. Rod, Tigrix, Abelius, Crazy and Will with five years. Our sub is finally going to the kindergarten for some truth. I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, because it's five years. I get it now. Oh, automatic doors. Good job, Dad. Well, bucket. All right. How now we're is to fall the well empty? We used it all yesterday. How is the well empty? We used it all yesterday. All right. Picked up witch totem. Emma. This is me sprinting, by the way. It's only a dream. Rose. Emma! I had a bad dream. Me too. Yeah, me too. This house is old and creepy. What are we doing out here? We're doing what Dad thinks is best. This was his home when he was your age. Is the doctor still going to visit? I don't think so. We'll talk about this in the morning. Go back to sleep. Still so tired. It's fucking seven in the morning. She's already up and about. Progress, I guess. <coughs> What's for breakfast? Mm. You guys are up early. <laughs> Always with the camera to the back to avoid facial animations. We haven't done much yet. Just unpacking boxes, mostly. I'll be driving one town over to pick up some chickens and animal feed today. Anything I can help with? You can, actually. Luckily for us, the old tenant built quite a few planters in the yard we can use. But neglect has taken its toll on them. I'll need to repair them before you and your sister plant crops. There's a parish west of here. Can you go see if they have any extra tools to lend us? It's been decades, but hopefully it's still there. Can I go too? I need you to help me with the livestock. So you're staying with me today. Rose, 
I also found an old map of the area in the closet. Take a look at it before leaving the house. Do not get lost in these woods. They go on for miles. I'll copy the map into my journal. The parish west of here for tools. All right. I'll be back before it gets dark. Where the fuck is our house? In the village, I guess. Thank you, Rose. Copy pasta. Look at me. I'll leave in a little bit. Okay. I should copy the map of Follow Hills. Yeah. I want to take a fucking screenshot or what? Where the fuck is the map? I thought it was a painting somewhere. Oh. Enter the pasture. Wait, what? Wasn't the well located here next to the front door? It was right here. Was it not? This ain't our house, is it? I should check the map before going too far in one direction. I should be just outside my house in the pasture. Pasture. Pasture check. Alright. We are right here. Or wait, where are we? We're in the pasture right now. This is our house. So we go to the left. Yeah? To the left? Okay. Taking a shortcut. the path here was so overgrown. It looks like this place has been empty for years. I should still look for some tools anyways since I came all this way. Well, if there are any tools here, it should be in all these houses. Highgate Schoolhouse. Hello? 
What kind of school has this? Like what? <laughs> Maybe they should have. <laughs> Tools, tools, tools. We're looking for tools. Looking for tool, top right. It's locked. There's no place for a key. There's no place for a key. How is that possible? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> All right, we got the tools. Let's find some tools to fix planners back home. All right. In the skill game developers ain't got nothing on me. Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was a sermon going. Got any tools? be hard I'm just gonna Michael Jackson to make sure that nothing sus is happening all right you got any tools what I feel I must bring two observations to your attention, Father. I notice some members of our congregation have been absent from church. That poor man with the drinking problem in particular hasn't been here in quite some time. I stopped by his house, but no one seemed to be home. I got a sick feeling peering through his window, like something unnatural was watching me back. On top of the drop in attendance, there's also rumors about a place referred to as the other church in the eastern village. I still have no clue what that is supposed to mean, only that Lucilia, the widow who lost her son a couple of years ago, has some kind of connection to it. That woman's mannerism have always made me feel uneasy. Can't help but feel she's a cursed woman with the luck she has. I will speak with her during her usual walks around the lake. All I know for certain is that I can feel a dark cloud growing over our small community. Something has changed. Picked up the key to the museum. Seems to be jamming. TTS scopes in. Alright, museum, museum. Where is the museum? Hmm. Any tools? Sign my petition. These grounds were used between these grounds were used between the years of 19, 1692 and 1693 for the trial of those accused of witchcraft. Please treat the ground and historical object with respect. I just removed the whole thing.
Beyond this gate lies the bodies of those condemned of witchcraft. No trespassing in this area. There's something hammering below. Two boxes with two souls. The pious man is library and he get the wicked woman six feet deep. One above, one below. No trespassing. Alright, I guess we go this way. Execution grounds. Yeah, this seems safe. Still a bit of blood on it. Nice, nice. <sighs> yeah, wasn't this the one picture we saw in the AI thing you were Yellow keys. Nice. First time. No. Gallow keys. Aren't these the gallows? Aha. Up tools. Seems to be some sort of puzzle. With one, two, three, four, five, six. Combinations. Mm, too many to brute force. Not too many, but it would take a very long time. Uh, I cannot get back. I'm pretty sure, fairly certain, that the combination we're looking for is in this area over here. Oh shit. Boy. Looks like something circular can go here. Boy. Wait, what did I get? I have two to tools. Maybe I'm supposed to be able to solve that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe behind here? Jaman Tastingo What the hell is this? Birdhouse? What? Why is this fucking podium fused into the fucking tree? Alright No one, this is the world's first playthrough. No one has ever played this game, not even the developers. Maybe there was something more in here? For the, 
I'm betting the circular thing is in that in that little box. Life is like a box of circular things. So maybe there's a clue here to something. Aha! Fuck. White box. This helps me nothing. Bro, we can't brute force it. We can, but... It's too many. Look for letters. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you. Captain Obvious. Maybe there's a letter in here. Since we joined the tools through it. We might have missed it. Maybe you just missed the tools in here. Tools? Tools? I'm out of ideas. If I could jump, then I could glitch through it. Looks like we are stuck. Find something circular. Bro, the circular shit is 100% inside the little lock the box. Inside this shit. Wait a second. This symbol I've seen before. Isn't this for the 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 book? Lucille M. What was the name of her son? Does anyone remember? Andrew, Andrew what? Andrew, Carl, Alex, Buck, Professor Carr. Yeah, great. Can I? I can't solve it like this. The fuck do you mean? Alright. A. If we assume no repeats, it's. Uh. 625 combinations. Yeah. <sighs> mm. 
No, it's less actually with no repeats. Too annoying though. If I had one, I would brute force it. If I had one in the correct place. But this is retarded. Huh? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? Is this something or no? Two boxes with two souls. The pirate's man, the lover, and the wicked woman, six feet deep. One above, one below. Maybe there's a grave here. Grave. We are in grave danger. Aha. She was deaf to the Lord's voice. Aha! Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it. Well bucket. This is not a well bucket. What the fuck? Oh, death. It's death. Death. I sold it. Easy. Fuck. Eh, Marina. Uh, uh. I can't fucking. Here we go. All right. Motherfucker. This fucking other box. Okay, so it's uh, it's probably gonna be a word. It's probably gonna be a word. What could the word be? There was a cross painted. Uh, so probably the church, right? Unless... Yeah, probably the church. We could just guess four letter words, A to F combinations. Yes. Cock. A A A D. That's funny because it's a real word. <sighs> All right, let's see what we can get. What say you? I say
cult. Fuck. Uh, only A to F. Only A to F. Face. Good one. Nope. Dead. Nope. Fade. Bead. <laughs> All right, that was lucky. <laughs> That was lucky. I'll take it. Literally. Norm, Revenant that would sit and consecutive ad posting and let Karabita Viver guy beam. A it's a vain product. Maris Nicholas or KC excellent food in Swedish beach. Norm, why hit some? I heard Swedish beach. I can safely assume I know the rest of that message. Translated. Hey, we did it! What the heck? Matter Kevin, Hellox G, Kench, Rain, 74 Bonds, Icy Lad, Beautiful, Jen, Pastel Boy, and Rag Maris. Thank you, boys. Welcome, welcome back to the Champions Club. All right, where's my goddamn tools? Checking over here. Goddamn kids. Taking all my tools. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that is not the correct one. Where the fuck am I? Finally. This should be enough to repair the planters back home. Unless there's anything else of interest, I should head back. All right, vamos no. That boy is probably gonna run past me. Boy. She got over that church incident quite quickly, I must say. Objective updated. Uh, It's late, and this rain is getting worse. I should drop off the tools and go straight home. Wait, where are we dropping off the tools? Let's put the tools on the backyard bench and head inside. But it's raining. Aren't they gonna get rusty? Shouldn't you put them inside? Backyard bench. 
Where is that? Probably in the backyard. Ah, undercover. Let's go home. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Play a noob, the real Pepe, Carthion, uh, Louis Goody, and only five head plays. Thank you, boys. Guessing it's upstairs. <coughs> Salutations. Hey, Dad. I put the tools on the workbench in the yard. Thanks for doing that. Any issues with the locals? The whole area was abandoned. Eh, things change. People move. I guess this town isn't as lively as it used to be. It's literally abandoned. What do you mean? Does anyone still live here anymore? I'm sure there's still people who work the land here, like we're going to do. All places fall on hard times, but they bounce back. Surely. We can talk more about this tomorrow. Now you look like you have another question. Why do you never look at me? Is there another church in this town? I thought you said the parish was abandoned. Who told you this? You didn't go off the path, did you? I told you, these woods go on for miles. I didn't wander. I found a note in the church written to the priest. It mentioned this other church and that it was in the eastern village. There's only one church in this town and you were there today. I also don't want you getting ideas about poking around that village. It's too far away and you could get lost. So you didn't hear about this when you grew up here. Nothing about witchcraft or the name Lucilia? Rose, I haven't lived in this town in almost 40 years. I'm sure lots of things have happened while I've been away. But for now, we have too much work to do on this house to get caught up in small town gossip. Alright, forget I mentioned it. Night, Dad. She's a vampire. I can see the figure of Andrew silhouetted against the moonlight. His features hidden amongst the darkness of the trees in front of him. I didn't have the strength to approach him. But he spoke to me in a hushed tone as if I had. He offered me answers to my questions and guidance only he could offer. All for just signing my name in a small ledger found at my feet. Oh, that's a small price to pay. I thought I was dreaming, or perhaps my desperation to see Andrew had made me hallucinate. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my head, but every time I would open them, he still stood there in the trees. This was real. The spirit of my only child had responded to my calls. I signed the ledger after considerable hesitation, then he spoke to me again. He told me of doorways hidden in the seasons of lunar cycles and invocations in forgotten languages. But the most intriguing was of a ceremony only he could teach, a ceremony with two parts. The first part binding the practitioner's soul to the world of the living, and the other part bringing them back to life in the event of their death. Andrew confided in me that the afterlife was a dark and cold place, that I must complete the ceremony and bind my spirit to this world to save myself from it. This was his gift to me, although completing the first part of the ceremony would come at yet another cost, requiring more than a mundane tool such as candles, wax or string, it needed something more intrinsic to life itself. We spoke until nearly dawn and then I went home. 
The next morning I thought about his words, about the whole encounter. What he asked of me was cryptic and immoral, but perhaps that is simply life itself, so I began thinking more of the ceremony. I remember a small house sitting alone, detached from the rest of the town. It was occupied only by a belligerent drunk, a man easily forgettable. I decided this is where the first part of the ceremony will be done. Though I need help with the task, I could only think of one person who may be able to help me. Quiet man who didn't leave his house much. He noticed my interest, though, through his window blinds when I was practicing near the eastern village. He approached me and told me his friends expressed an interest in such things too, though none had tried anything quite like I had been doing. I went to his house a few days later asking him if he would like to help me with the task. I didn't give him all the details so he wouldn't have time to get cold feet when we started. I asked him to meet me outside that man's house on Sunday at exactly 2.30 a.m. to give us an hour afterwards to prepare. Lord. Oh shit. I'm here again. Yes. Is someone in the church? Guess we're about to find out. It's closed with a strange metal lock. What could it mean? Oh, hello. The body is firmly holding the saw. I already saw that. <laughs> Man and woman face one another. She is confronted by a snake's whisper. He is pursued by death's touch. Gaze upon them until they gaze upon you. Okay. Which... Which seed should I take? So... face each other or what do they want from me The fuck do you want from me? Look at him. Yeah, well, I'm fucking looking at him, but he's not looking at me. He looks kind of dead, honestly. I think he's dead. That's, uh, that's my neck posture.
Uh, the fuck am I supposed to go? Over here, maybe. And why do I have to walk in slow motion? Hello? This looks like a dead end. It's gonna take me quite a while to get back with this fucking movement speed. the fuck am I supposed to do? Maybe the back door is open. Surely. Shekler's love source. Enot Pelosco, 95 months. Jesus. Christus. Manch Oprah with four years. Julie Badge Man and Sonon with the one year. Pew. The US. Ancient friend. As ancient as this ritual. Yeah. What the fuck? This podium still fused into the tree. Does anyone have a bright idea? Because I am all out. Thought I was gonna sit here. Gaze upon them until they gaze upon you. hell is a snake snake's whisper oh maybe it's a painting maybe it's a painting does this look like a snake's whisper really does this Ah, Snake's Whisper. Ah, look at that. Namaste. What about this fucking painting?
I can't get this one to trigger. Maybe I don't have to. Wait. Clock is ticking. <laughs> Come on, fucking cocksucker. I'm looking at you! What the fuck? Wrong painting. There are only two paintings. four. Oh shit, there is another one here. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> Which one is first though? Is it the woman? <laughs> maybe it's man, woman. Or maybe it doesn't matter. You never know until you know. Yeah, no shit, this is my max movement speed. slow because I didn't take my mad mode yet. Ever thought about that chat? Huh? Hmm? Where did the man go? You're not expecting me to saw through the fucking chain, right?
Hello? Hello? From the furthest lake to the highest hill to this very sanctum, we have been cursed. Do not trespass any further. Bring light to the tower from where you came as a beacon of hope. Do not trespass any further. Alright. You want me to go back and light? Okay. All right. Okay. A little bit of pillar kiting here. Yeah. No. So you're telling me I did all that for nothing. <sighs> Bitch, you best not be looking at me while I'm sleeping again. That's right, motherfucker. You know, I wouldn't have kept going in that church if it weren't for the fact that the movement speed was Ugh, so fucking like slow. I, again. I really I wouldn't so have. Tired then? But I didn't want to go back to the fucking chapel in case they fucking had some other idea of how to finish that part. And then have to go back to the church to walk three more meters to get to the fucking altar. So, really, I blame the fucking movement speed. My hair clip is missing too. I should check Emma's room. She better not have been in here again. <sighs> Motherfucker with my hair clip. What the pop a clip? The fuck is this supposed to be? Is the guy moaning? His pants down here, showing his ass. Art. More like fart. Ah. Oh shit, look at that shotgun. Put in. Stop it now. With my fucking hair clip. Strange drawing. No sign of my hair clip in here, anyways. downstairs to see what's needed today oh shit look at this tv it's unsick oh now you're here huh rose 
Sorry, I slept in. What? The quarter past seven or what? It's fine. You girls have been working hard lately. You two could use a day off. Why don't you spend the day with your sister? I won't say no to a day off. Good to hear. I'm not feeling well, so I may rest inside today. Where else would you rest? Okay. Rest up, and let me know if you need anything. Time with Emma. <coughs> Where is she? Where's Emma? What? So these are the chickens you and Dad got the other day while I was at the parish. Do you like them? <sighs> I guess. We're gonna eat them. At least you're interested in something other than drawing. Let's spend the day together. How about we walk by the pond? I saw one on the map east of here. Okay. I also noticed a drawing of a woman in your room today. Stay out of my room, jerk. Sorry, I thought you took my hair clip again. So, who is she? She's just someone I know. You don't know anyone. Where did you meet her? She talks to me sometimes in my dreams. You mean like a nightmare? They're not nightmares. She's nice to me. Her name's Lucilia. Lucilia? Where did you hear that name? She's told you. Your fucking dream. She told me? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Strange. Huh? Nothing. Ah! She's coming to get me. We have gray she hair already. So she can keep up. Yeah, she's keeping up, all right. Social distancing. We have a fucking pandemic. All right, well, where did she say she wanted to go? The pond. Northeast of the house. Pond. So right. Bro, this movement speed is actually killing me slowly. Like, what the fuck is this fucking escort quest? Oh, fucking yeah, that's right, bitch. Huh? Yeah, that's fucking right. She's ten. She's gonna be twelve by the time we get to this fucking pond. It looked more impressive on the map. Let's keep going. Are we allowed to go further? What dad doesn't know won't hurt him. He didn't know he had cancer. Shuffling. 
Alright, see if you can boost me over this edge here. Oh, it's fine, it's open. Oh, I want it open. I'd catch a grenade for you. And you said we never hang out. When was the last time we spent the whole day together? It literally took the whole day to walk that. The only reason we're doing that is because Dad kicked us out of the house and you were bored. Both things can be true. What is this place anyways? I don't know. It just says Eastern Village on the town map. Looks like it's seen better days. Everything in this town is old. I hate that we live here now. What are we supposed to do if we run out of money? This is... when you have run out of money. Obviously. <laughs> I may have some ideas. What? Sell me to the circus or something? No, we bought you from the circus and they have a strict no return policy. Oh shit! Ha ha. Can we play hide and seek? Please? We came all this way. Okay, but don't go too far. It's already getting late and we need to be back before it's dark. No peeking. So I tell my teammates, never listen. Ready or not, here I come. All right, let's find one edgy sister. Perfect time to start raining. Motherfucker. In here? Can I help you? Oh my god! I'm sorry. I, I didn't think anyone lived out here. Not many do. It's usually just people passing through. I assume you came with that girl. The one in the leather jacket. Um, yeah, that's my little sister Can Anna. Can I have her back? We were just playing a stupid game. I saw her crawl under the fence of the historical society. The big house northeast of here. She really shouldn't have gone in there. Okay. Oh, thanks for telling me. I should be on my way then to go get her. Gate's locked, and you probably won't fit under the fence. But I can help you. I just need something first. I'm 16. Uh, sure. What do you need? There's a small house east of here. I'll give you the key for the front door. Something very important to me is in there. Retrieve it, and I'll help you open the historical society's gate. Can you do this for me? I would do it myself, but I can't. Because you can't open doors, or...? The small house east of here. Okay, well, what am I looking for exactly? Um, hello? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what the fuck? What house was it? Oh, damn. Look at that reflection, dude. Fucking daytime. What trees are you reflecting, dude? Fucking JPEG. Uh, what house? That shot in something from the other village house. The other village house, okay. There are two of them. I'm guessing it ain't this one. Get in here. Maybe 
as this one. Hello, motherfuckers. Okay, there's something in here that guy wants. She could have just told you. Right? He's making it complicated. Uh, lately, I've been seeing people enter this uh, into the historical society at night, one at a time, over the whole course of an hour. Or so one I recognize from their small stature, my neighbor, a quiet man whose face was recently wounded. He said he had been attacked by a feral dog, but something doesn't feel right about that either. I don't trust him or the people going into the house. What are they doing there so late at nine? Group orgy. Looks like it's locked. Oh, that's a quiet modern safe. Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! Enter wardrobe. Okay. Ask the dolls. What are we looking at here? I can't back out. Oh god. Six. Oh fuck. Ask the dolls. Which fucking doll, huh? I would like to ask you a question. Is he doing a letter with his arms or? Because this symbol tells me nothing. Is it two dolls? Um, two dolls, and they are maybe it's two words. We could try and brute force it. Six letter, no. I mean, not brute force it, but... Oh, here. Uh, Close that, yeah. Who the fuck was that? Gnosis. Oh, 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 oh. you've been gnomed. Gnosis means. Okay. All right. Let's deliver this photograph and get that gate key for the historical society. Oh my god, I can sprint. It's a Christmas fucking miracle. But I also know what that means. Uh, I'm already lost over here, yeah? This 
point, Emma had better hope I don't find her. Well, that is the whole point of hide and seek, is it not? saying sus or what no reaction you just want the gate key nothing is ever truly jammed Jam. Myers Stars Silent Hill. Oh, they are really private people. They have shades. Double window. Double window. Double rainbow. Ah! <laughs> that was scary. Oh, is that so scary? That was really scary, right? Huh. I don't remember him sitting there. Uh... The beast sits in a corner of this long forgotten land, one strolls furthest and above him, fragility in hand, neither above or below the two a soul swings bare, galloping up high a dark omen can't help but stare, a soul painted in thought lays furthest from the pale, while two souls between darkness awaits bells and veil. I'm not a rapper. Alright, uh, fucking lover sitting in between or something, what did they say? Fuck, I already forgot. Uh, well, two souls between the darkness. Neither above or below the two, a soul swings bare. Galloping up high, a dark omen can't help but stare. A soul pained in thought lays furthest from the pale, while two souls between darkness awaits bells and veils. Ah, uh, fucking... Two souls. Uh, fucking devil goes in a corner. Uh, bell awaits bell and bail. corner are you in then devil the 
beast sits in a corner of this long forgotten land, one strolls furthest and above him, frail fragility in hand. Fragility in hand. Okay, so the beast is in the bottom corner. Uh, f fragility in hand. What's fragile? Not that fragile. I almost forgot. Neither above or below the two, a soul swings bare, galloping up high, a dark omen can't help but stare. So the hangman is in the bottom, and above him is a dark omen. Yeah, fucking. Alright. I don't know, I still don't know what corner this, this guy is, if he's here or here. Uh, but the hangman is on the bottom, and a dark omen is death, I guess. Uh, might be that the beast is on the other side. A soul pained in thought lays furthest from the pale. While two souls between darkness awaits, await bells and veil. Between darkness? So like this. Beast and fool go opposite. Huh? Isn't that what I did? I mean... Beast is not top left. Beast is bottom. The beast sits in a corner of this long forgotten land, so he has to be in one of the four corners. One strolls furthest and above him, fragility in hand. So one card is above him. Strolls furthest. And who is that? Is that the... that's the fool, right? That's the fool. Neither above or below below the two a soul swings bare galloping up high a dark omen can't help but stare so the hanged man is swinging and above him is the is death right uh-huh this equals opposite corner oh one strolls furthest and above him oh, okay so it's not okay so his opposite corner um, but this guy is above the hangman so he has to be in the middle then and then Neither above or below the two, a soul swings bare. 
galloping up high, a dark omen can help us stare. A soul pained in thought lies furthest from the pale. Wait, what, what does that mean? The bed guy, he lays furthest from the pale. Well, who is the pale? Lies furthest from the pale. That's death. So like this. What the fuck? The devil goes where? In the bottom left or bottom right? Doesn't matter. The fool goes in the opposite corner of the, the devil, right? So, which one is wrong here? Fool is top right. It doesn't matter though which one. But it should matter. Doesn't make sense. <sighs> what the fuck? Hangman is in the middle for sure. Okay. Let's put the ones we know for a fact. What is the pale? Who is the pale? A soul pinned in thought lays furthest from the pale. death all right we know for a fact that the hangman is in the middle we know for a fact that the, l the fool is in the opposite corner of the devil ah shit all right we know for a fact that the devil and the fool is in opposite corners. We know for a fact that death is uh, top, top somewhere, right? We know for a fact that the hangman is in the middle row. Jesus Christ. It was bugged, I had to reset it, that's why. Uh, what unlocked? Nice. Uh, did this uh, unlock? No. Oh, 
Or was it that unlocked? Fucking now I'm clueless. Desk? It wasn't the desk though. Maybe it was those flyers. American, I guess. I thought it was a doll. You could have just given me Ah You could have just given me the fucking key. Like you said you would, instead of doing this whole fucking shenanigan. She shouldn't be in that house. Yeah. Consumer shouldn't be allowed on the internet. Here we are. Yeah, that's why I got the fucking key. Oh, she went in this. Well, that was creepy. Let's find them and get out of here. That was creepy, really. It's gonna seem some shit. This whole fucking situation to identify with the gifted sub, uh, Frost, Pushy Pop, Maximilian Creek, Dank Delicious, Aaron Fall, and Nori Lol with 97 months. Look at this dude, grandpa's tuning in. I'm surprised you know how to turn on the computer. Cruel's in with the five years, 60 freaking years. Woo, woo, boom. Thank you, boys, girls. Emma, potential. where are you? Here. Oh. The historical society. I won't be able to take over these boys with my bare hands. I need a Ugandan key. Hammer. It's too dark to keep do going this way. Says who? How about I go back to my house and get the fucking tools? Picked up old lantern. Damn. If only I knew how to use the lantern. May there be light. device it's locked there's no place for a key though hmm. I wonder E 
Yes. Yes. The times of their deaths. Card. The times of their deaths. Is a little bit too much brute forcing. Uh, this is a wheel. Doesn't say any timestamps on it, though. The inner circle is the time of the first one, but how am I supposed to know what time that is? Certainly not that. Hello? I'm just gonna go in here. Do you happen to know what time you got fucking beheaded? for guiding me to the only other door I haven't checked yet oof this is gonna be awkward Pluto still still a planet I'm gonna say hello Your anus is over here, no? Uh, I think so. Shit. I actually don't know, this is not good. Mars is behind, maybe? Where the fuck is... Uh, Oh, that's rough. Well, I know Mer Mercury is definitely closest to the sun. <laughs> uh, and I know Mars is behind. Uh, Venus? I don't know where Venus is. Where's Venus? This is useless information. Ah! Oh, it's so useless. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Are you smarter than a first grader? <laughs> Alright. Now you know. I was testing you, Chad. Comedic value. Of course I know the fucking order. Alright, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Oh, did I get a key? No, crowbar. up shit music shit music Let's go. <laughs> I was ready for that. I did not jump. Okay. Yes. Dog. <clears throat> Time to see if those piano lessons paid off. If I didn't know how to play piano, the fuck is this? Oh shit! Uh, quarter past five. Quarter past five. Gilead? No, not the guillotine. I don't know what that one is called. That's the... 
The standing around shite. This is for this one, yeah? What is this? Fucking 12, 25, 35. Uh, the outer circle. Ah, fuck. What was the outer circle? F quarter past five. Quarter past five. Uh, the inner circle. Uh, right. And then brute force the last one. Quarter past five. Left this hour. I mean, the bigger one should be. Not three twenty five. 515, yeah, exactly. This inner circle is 5. Wait, where, where's 5? No, the out, outer one should be... Shouldn't the, shouldn't the bigger one be the longer one and this one should be our... Right? 5, 15. Maybe it's the other way around. Alright. 5, 15, 12, 35, and now. It's locked. Enter basement. K Mill, they were prime sub, Francis the Muffin, Invet, Twitch, and Bayer Karuda. Hello, sister. Oh, yo, it is this fucking house, guys. Remember, the basement looked exactly like this. From that game where they put on the pig masks and stuff. You just split up into two houses. I fucking knew I recognized that first house. Little census. 
by their senses tingling. Looks like there's no power. Okay. That's why I'm trying to turn that on. But. Emma? 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 I don't think I was supposed to light this. All right, uh, 120, 122, 50. It's, okay, so it splits and becomes this. So, 10 times 12 is 120. Is that what they're trying to say? And it also goes here. So this is a two, two, uh, buffs this, right? So, uh, That's right. <laughs> Doubting me with the planets? Come on. 200 IQ minimum. Mensa certificate. this looks like a secret room hallway hmm. I don't like the look of that literally there's been too many rumors surrounding the historical site lately we need to move the city's body in case anyone comes looking around here the ceremony will be done in her home, but it's too far for one trip. The house of that drunk, the one Lucidia told us about. We can move her there. It should be. It should still be empty, and no one has heard from the owners in years. Move the body at night and do it quickly. Disguise the wagon as building supplies for the pathway restoration project we've been funding. We'll be able to travel out of the village without suspicion. Of the finishing preparation of Lucidia's house, we'll move her the rest of the way. Uh. Hello. There are the pig masks. I told you. It's the same dev. It's the same dev. What the hell is this place? Oh, is you. this the other church? No. I 
hate this. So bad. Don't smash this. it. Okay, don't smash it. Alright. So uh, I need to move this like this, this this goes over here eventually. And then uh, move this direction. Uh, yes. What opened? I don't know what opened. This one? Cock and ball torture. Uh, no, seriously, what fucking opened? Huh? What the fuck opened? Oh, right, the fucking door. Yeah, they could've given me, they could've given me that fucking key instead. Make it more obvious. Seems to be jammed. Jammed. Okay. Hello. This place is full of these things. I'm not dreaming this time, though. I shouldn't be in this place. I should get out of here. Time to leave. Volunteering your blood doesn't have the same effect as it did with that man. Start with drifters or anyone not from the town first. Keep it quiet. Shh, chat. Shh. Um. Uh, hello. What are you doing down here? I saw you open the basement door, so I followed you down here. You shouldn't have snuck into this house. W what are you wearing? It's a pig's mask. I found it in that weird room. There's a bunch of them. I was just trying to scare you. Well, you succeeded. Just take that thing off and we can talk about this later. Let's get out of here. Ah, the mask to prevent the face animation. Classic. Damn, it's gotten so late, and this storm is so much worse. Let's not risk taking a shortcut and just go back the way we came through the pasture. But I love and shortcuts. And let's not tell Dad about what happened today. He's stressed out enough. Okay. Okay. I should walk with Emma so she can keep up. I can't oh afford to lose her again. God. This fucking escort mission again. No! Ah, I can't climb this. Uh, oh, 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 oh. This is the way back, yeah. This is the way for show, for show. I Eagle Kind, Wumbledore, Cry With, Brosda, Hamby, Lamento, Daddy, there, Mr. Musinator, and Oscarok. Thanks for seven. Re seven. Guess I should have assumed. Looks like he even left a card. Thank you for treating that photograph for me. I'll be seeing you soon, my new dearest friend. 
God damn, dude, the longest fucking walk scoring this motherfucker. Oh my god, in heaven. High refund walk. <laughs> Class. I think it was this way. We can take a shortcut here. I hope we can navigate trees and rocks. You're a fucking natural, Emma. We could be related. Emma, can you tell me more about your friend Lucilia? You're just going to make fun of me. I already am. I promise I won't. She lived in a house like ours, in the woods north of here, next to a lake. What else does she tell you in your dreams? She said she had gifts that could change things. Or even people. Has she ever talked to you about witchcraft or anything like that? I don't think so. Why is she talking to you? She said her friends brought her to our house. And that if I live there now, I must be a friend of hers too. I think your friend Lucilia is just a figment of your imagination. That's not true! Sometimes when you and Dad are working outside, she'll knock on the wall to let me know she's there. Emma, I don't want you talking to Lucilia anymore. You know how, how she sounds like, this Rose character? She sounds like, uh, the redhead from Game of Thrones. Uh, Lady Stark's uh, daughter. Or, new Lady Stark's. Sansa. Yes. I forgot her name. Listen next time she talks. What are you writing? Ah, Rose. Uh, never mind that. How was your day? You two were gone for quite a while. We walked to the small village east of here. I okay, met a she sounds very nothing strange like man, and the, the houses there were nightmarish. I think something happened in this town since you grew up here. So people do still live here. You made it sound like this town was abandoned after getting back from the parish. This town is abandoned. Something bad happened here. Have you found a key for that locked door in the hallway? No, I haven't. I tried forcing it open, but those chains are on tight. Can I break it open? <laughs> I know I'm not as strong as I used to be, but if I can't open it, I don't think you'll be able to either. What if I use the axe? Jesus, Rose, you're not going to put an axe through a door in this house. 
What's got you bothered about it anyways? Why are you not bothered by it? I guess Emma's stories? And I'm not lying about something being wrong about that village. The parish too. Even my dreams have felt cursed since moving here. We've uprooted our lives and moved across the country. Everything is new and needs work. I think that stress has got to us all in a way. I know it seems like there's not much here, but keep giving this place a chance. When it's all fixed up, it'll pay off for you girls. And if you feel isolated out here, there's a town two hours away with plenty of people. Close enough that you both can go there on the weekends after the first few crop cycles. Two hours? You could sell enough of what we don't eat and buy what you need. Even afford to place there eventually if you tire of the countryside. But for now, we need to make this place work. We can't afford such fairy tales right now, Rose. You're right. We'll make this place work. Love you, Dad. I love you too. Look at me when I'm talking to you. It's been months now since my friend from the eastern village and I entered the home of that man. Perhaps I needed time to truly think about this path I'm now taking. It's one thing to evoke spirits with cannel and wax, but not to do the same with the blood of a human being. I assumed it would have been easy, but the man put up more of a fight than I thought. He deeply lacerated my companion's face with a broken bottle. It was only after pushing the man down the stairs that he break his neck and go quiet. I fear my companion may be disfigured from the ordeal. I told him I'd make him a mask to hide the wounds as my thanks to him. At the moment, I just wanted to go home and forget everything, but we had already gone too far to stop now. I followed the steps Andrew told me in the woods until the final candle had burned out and the first part of the ceremony was complete, but I felt nothing. Is my soul now bound to this world? If I can die in body but not in spirit, where do I go? I've been meeting with my companion and his superstitious friends frequently at the historical society after that night. I've been teaching them about ceremonial magic and all the secrets spoken to me by Andrew. They've slowly grown to trust me and admire my knowledge of the esoteric and though people around town have noticed our gatherings and begun gossiping. One evening when we were planning to meet, a woman spat at one of my followers and called him a pig. Given the cruelty of people, perhaps it's compliant to be called an, an animal. I've begun referring to our group as the swine. In the spirit of that remark and have begun making masks to protect the identities of new members, even from each other. I've given each of them detailed instructions on the second part of the ceremony to perform in the event of my death. Though all this work and sacrifice will have been for nothing if someone finds out about what I did to that man in his house that night. I've grown up Secuda Maculata, the hemlock plant, and poured it into a wine bottle. I made sure to recork them and melt the wax back on so no one knows they've been tampered with, and place them in my cellar. If I believe my swine are no longer trustworthy, I'll host a gathering and serve it to them. Once they succumb to the poison, I'll bury them in the woods one by one if I have to. I've done everything I can to preserve my spirit. It all depends now on my new coven's loyalty to me and in performing the second part of the ceremony correctly when the time comes. Okay. Emma?
Damn, she's tall. It's the fucking Resident Evil woman. Emma, where are you? Emma, down this stars. No further jumping out of closets. Matter of fact. Emma, get over here! It's okay, Rose. She's the friend I told you about. Lucilia. Get away from her, Emma. We're leaving right now! I think I should go in there. I think I should just leave. So just leaving is the best ending or what? Okay. Someone is on the roof. Shit. Only one lock <laughs> remains. <laughs> Two months later. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen, O. What are we going to do now? We'll keep doing what we're doing. The house is mostly repaired, we have lots of food, and I'll start driving to the next town over to get supplies like Dad did. He really wanted us to make this place work, so we'll do that for him. We're alone out here now. You'll always have me. I won't leave you. We can make this work. What do we do with Dad? 
we'll give him a plot just outside home. Why don't you head back inside? Just live. Open box. This belongs to me now. To my daughters Rose and Emma, if you found this note, I'm sure it will be from tidying my room after my time has come. I'm sure the two of you have a lot of questions about why we're here and what to do next now that you're on your own. It was apparent from my visits with the doctor that I wasn't getting any better. Now that you guys lost your mother at such a young age, it didn't seem fair for you to lose your father too. I wanted to make things right. The thought of leaving you two at a foster home in the city was too much for me, so I moved just to my parents' house in the country. I want to teach you both how to grow your own food, fix things around the house and be able to rely on yourselves and each other. Hopefully by the time I pass, you two would be able to take care of yourself in safety and prosperity on this land. This house was my home, now it's yours and hopefully it will be your children's home someday too. I hope I have given you all the tools you need to succeed and you embrace this as a new opportunity for a bright future. I thought you'd be working on your drawings. I don't feel like it. It sucks we don't get cable out here for TV, but I can put a movie on for you. I remember seeing a box of VHS tapes around here somewhere. Let me take a look. The boom. VHS. Put on a movie. Let's see, what do we have? The Ring, The Grudge, where? Box of VHS. The fuck are you smoking? Or statue? No. Well, I don't think they're in the bathroom. That would be kind of scuffed. Maybe they're in here. You guys seen any VHS tapes lying around? Hi. Hi. Near the TV. That's what I thought. But then there were none. Near the TV, my asshole. Are they in the fucking bathroom? No way they're in the bathroom, right? Why the fuck would they be in the bathroom? In the fridge? I'm not in the fridge. Bro, where are these tapes? 
What the fuck? Power on, VHS player first. Okay. You don't have any videotapes. It's true, I don't have them. Maybe in here. Picked up movie. Which movie is it gonna be? Jolly Fish? All right, your movie's on Dick and Larry cartoon. <laughs> Fucking Zoomers, man. All right, watch your boomer cartoon and learn something. I'm watching this thing. Kill the baby.
It's always a bigger fish. Pretty funny, right? All right. I keep watching this. That looks totally normal. ghost I've been spending more time in my home away from home searching through the historical society's literature for ways to continue my blood magic without the risk of physically entering someone's home while reading at the Grimorium Verum, I came across the concept of totems and the regional influence they can have. I continued to search through these books and Grimorius for more information before finding something of interest in the book of Honorius. There can be influence without the physical form through a method of totem spellcraft on a piece of land or even a structure. While the material world may be slightly influenced by the will of this particular witchcraft, the phenomena of bewitched dreams has been more greatly recorded. The purpose of bewitched dreams may be to communicate with those who have entered the spellbound area, possibly to harm those trespassing or to perhaps use them in aiding the work of the witch they are unable or unwilling to perform. Even the spirit of witches long since dead can have a lingering influence to this particular spellcraft, though it is not without vulnerabilities. While entering the dreams of the sleeping can be tempting for those practicing witchcraft, it may accidentally reveal the witch's own thoughts and memories through their unconscious bond. The thought of continuing my work through the safety of dreams and preserving my influence even after death is too enticing to not experiment with. My swine and I have begun making those totems, these totems to their exact specificity. I believe I have just found the key in hiding my work from further suspicion. Alright. I think that came from downstairs. Strange noise. I think I should take my new lantern. You took the old lantern. Fuck. It was a 50-50. Uh, why the fuck did you hang this up here? Hello? Oh, it smells like rotting meat. Surely it's not the swine society. Hello? Any motherfuckers in here? Anyone taking a shite without flushing? Don't turn around, 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 don't turn around. Well.
looks clear to me. Alright, lap number three. Take a shortcut. Yeah, okay, there's nothing here. Do I have to walk the other way to trigger the fucking... Uh... Was this guy always here? Guy. Motherfucker. Emma? What are you doing down here? Why are your shoes and jacket on? Doubting fashion. I think she's sleepwalking. I think she's dancing. Come on, follow me. Let's get you back to bed. Yeah, okay. Oh shit, zombie apocalypse. No. Please think of the children. What the hell? Inside your fucking room. my mind I should check on Emma checking on Emma simulator what time is it 20 past 9 it's still dark outside the fuck is this Emma Good morning, motherfucker. You were sleepwalking last night, you know. I was? I don't remember. I didn't know you did that. Maybe you're the cause of all the creaking and knocking in this house during the night. Maybe. We'll get through this, Emma. Dad would want us to stick together and make this house ours. I know. Can you water the crops today? I'm gonna go and chop some wood north of the house today. It was freezing last night. Freezing? You didn't make me any fucking breakfast? Oh, that looks delicious. Egg sandwich. Alright. North of the house. Chop at the shop. Why can't I just chop woods next to the house? North of the house. What? Green water gardens? Well, where exactly do you want me to chop woods?
You walked past the axe? I'm pretty sure that it would have told me to pick up the fucking axe. Woody's got wood. Keep saying north and shit. As if I have a compass. I'll go another time. Alright. And where the fuck is my wood shopping? Like, north of the house? The fuck does that even mean, north of the house? my axe bro look at her arms dude she's fucking strong she's built her forearms are fucking bigger than your biceps chat alright where the fuck is this wood here no north of the house I mean, this is north of the house. Maybe they could fucking specify. Like, what the fuck? Damn, he wasn't kidding. I'm already lost. Alright, if this is the house I'm standing at now. Here's the house. North of the house. They want me to go to this fucking village again or what? Like what the fuck? North of the house. Go north. Alright. I'm going north. This is north. Going north. I guess they want me to go in this fucking forest. This is north. Fucking direction. Fucking direct. Where the fuck are my fucking trees? This is fucking north, I'm just saying. I'm going north, this is exactly north. Let's just keep going north. Until I find my fucking wood. Huh? This is literally north. I'm right here. This is the house. This is fucking north. All right. Surely this is the right way. Devs. Go north. Hmm. Ah, oh, here's the tree. Legendary tree. Yes. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it.
Picked up ash. So where do you want me to go? Maybe there's a gazebo over here? Or something? Chop up this fucking bench. can scout our surroundings from here. Maybe we can enter some place that we're not supposed to enter yet. Highest peak. Well, we can cross this place that they didn't allow us into. Assuming we don't die on the way down, which I think we will. Ask me how I got here. Wait, stop. One of your endings, devs. Michael J. Fox ending. <laughs> Minecraft Easter egg. I think we're getting out of here, Chad.
we are moving, but... Watching our auto saves on the start of each scene. Actually, I think we triggered these by walking under the map. I think we triggered the next areas. to get to her before she finishes the ceremony. Okay. Stop the ceremony. Ow. Oh, what the fuck? Shotgun shells? I don't even have a fucking shotgun. Fuck! Well, I do have a shotgun. The fuck? <laughs> Emma, I need to get to her before she finishes the ceremony. High noon somewhere in the world. Ah, oh, shit, she doesn't care. The fuck? Emma! I need to get to her before she finishes the ceremony.
I don't have the movement speed to run away from her. That is ridiculous, man. Emma! I need to get to her before she finishes the ceremony. That is fucking ridiculous, dude. Emma! I need to get to her before she finishes the ceremony. gonna spawn fucking retardo number two over here and I'm fucked. to get to her before she finishes the ceremony. Missed any, but all right, we have to kill this guy. Oh, here. I 
died. tormenting us every day since we came here. But each time you showed yourself, you left clues of who you really are, Lucilia. Now, O oh thou spirit, name it. With thy first breath cometh of... Do I know? Bond unto thee the serveth of a... By the Lord, thou art bound back to blood, and wend henceforth to thy natural grave. I don't think I know. Escape, they said. Oh my god. That gave me a little bit of cancer. But, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Surely, 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 surely. <sighs> All right. Mm. 
Very good, very good. Elastic, live for three years. Can I get a cringe a kiss instead of a cringe fist? Uh, Force and Puke also add a new weeb mode since Force and Loot is gone, Force and Puke. No and no, but thank you for three years, sir. Enjoy the badge. Diamond E edition. As there with the four years. New bad egg. Okay egg. Okay egg indeed. Mm. Properties. Game capture. Motherfucking motherfucker.